go too fast. going on YouTube just hold my guy about it we're gonna do a video on uh, I got a new weapon light and a new holster I had the weapon light for a while waiting on the holster or whatnot but before we get to it we're gonna get into my EDC start off with my watch G-Shock and some people ask what model this is so this is the uh, 5081 GA 100 C I got about three with this this same model just different colors or whatnot and um, y'all know I love G-Shocks. I'm a G-Shock junkie. Some of the best watches out there. Paracord, got my Ankh. Weapon Light, Streamlight Pro Tech 2LX, 500 lumens. Y'all already seen this before, I did a video with it. Spyderco, Man X2, loving this knife. Uh, what else? Leatherman Skeletal. The CX model, and the, the only difference is the color, of course, in uh, in this one. But the steel on the blade is very, very better than the other. I'm trying to get it to kind of focus, but uh, it's the CM 154 steel. I got that steel. It's on a couple of my uh, my other knives, my uh, Benchmade knives that I have. They have the same steel, so it's a really good steel. Holds the sharp, holds, holds the edge real good. But anywho, let's get to it. I ride in the rain, notepad. I always have that. Bandana, I always have it. But some coordinating. Uh, Fisher Space Pen. Rats tourniquet. Zippo. Burst beeswax. Uh, what else? Oh, wallet. And also, this was semi my EDC. This is what I shot at the range today, and it was pretty much with me. So, part of the EDC, not owned by the EDC, but it was with me. And holster Glock 19 in the new. Tier one concealed X is slim. And the light, as you guys can see, is the Streamlight TLR 7, 500 lumens. Uh, this is, I untrained with this, which I normally don't do because when I, my EDC, I, no, I don't normally uh, unload it. But I did it for the purpose of this video because I will be handling the gun a little more than I normally will. But uh, this is the uh, Tier one. X is slim. Uh, I chose the colors y'all see because of the firefighter first responder color, and also this is one of these two are my favorite colors, the red and black. But it is a big difference um, in the Agus setup, if I'm pronouncing it right. Which I still like the Agus. I'm still gonna carry it. But uh, this is the first one I had with the uh, detachable. Uh, Mad Caddy and as you guys can see the difference in this is it's not see how this is so far away with the slim the egg is slim they brought they brought it in a, a good good amount and you still have that flexibility so the, I I actually thought this was probably the best holster the Agus I thought this was the best holster out though when it came to a uh, uh, appendix carrying and for conceal, but I just didn't. I just never would have thought that they could do better than what this was, and they did when they brought it in with the uh, bungee cord. That that made a big difference because they both conceal about the same. But this this was already comfortable, but this is even more comfortable because it still has the flex with it, but they brought everything up closer. And uh, it don't get any better than that, man. I, I mean, I'm still loving this. I'm not going to sell it or not wear it anymore because I'm still going to carry it because I got a light for it. But uh, I'm just going to leave that light on my 23 and leave this one on my uh, 
by 19. I mean, this this is this is where it's at, man. And it's the same price. The same exact price. And uh, I'm just going to put it on again so you guys can see the difference. I'm going to put the other one on, too. You can see the difference in how much closer the gun and the mag is. And it still conceals the same. Still, I mean, you probably see a little bit because I'm doing all this, but for the most part, it still seals good. But it's so much closer, so you don't have everything coming across here. It's just more in, the, in one one little nice little central location versus this one, which is still comfortable and it still conceals good. But with that design that they just came out with, the the Axis Slim, it makes it even more comfortable. And you see the distance in it. But it's still comfortable and it's still concealable. But I mean anything that'll help. If this is ten to five percent more comfortable than this, you know, that, that makes a big difference. So if you guys out there, you know, was straddling the fence trying to see what you wanted to get and you liked it the till the till one uh conceal design, this is even better. So if you hadn't pulled the trigger yet on one, I would get this one over this one. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna be honest. I will I will get the Exit Slim over the Agus. But like I said, I'm still gonna carry this. I'm still gonna use it. Cause I like it. This is unloaded too, as you guys can see. Nothing's in the guns. I know you guys. Oh yeah. No mag in it. You know what I'm saying? Safe direction. As well with this, it did have a mag in it. But as you can see, Glocks when this triggers back, it's nothing in it. No mag. But uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to show this off and I'm gonna throw some clips in there of me shooting with it at the range. And uh, hope y'all having a good day. And I just wanted to do the little, little video on it. And I might just do another video or just weapon lights, period, on handguns and uh, you know, rifles or whatnot. So this is the uh, tier one conceal. This is tier one conceal with the stream light. Made for the Streamlight TLR7, 500 lumens. And I'm really liking this light. So this is kind of pretty much a review on two different products. So just knock it out at the same time. It's very compact, as you guys can see. And then also, now you know, your run time is not gonna be as long, even though they both use the same battery, one CLR, I mean CR123, but this is brighter and this is 500 lumens this is 200 lumens but this one is way way brighter and also uh you're gonna lose some of your uh your run time so it's about an hour and a half on this and this is like two hours so you know and it says a strobe on here i hadn't figured that out yet i gotta play with it a little more like i said i only been carrying this a, a week because i've been had the light but i never did open it up until i got the holster and i got the holster last weekend it came in the mail last weekend, so it's pretty. It's it's pretty dope, man. I'm, I'm really digging this light, man. So if y'all was straddling the fence looking at, it, I mean, like I said, I only had it a week, been carrying it a week, but I had I haven't had any problems with it. But I will let you guys know in about a month or so after carrying it a while about the uh, forcing the battery life and whatnot. Is it really holding up to what you know the manufacturer said it is, but. I'm loving the light. I love the compactness of it. I mean, just look at the difference. How it's protruding out. This one is behind it. My Glock 23 is behind it. And the Enforce is still sticking out past that one. Versus, you turn this around. And uh, you can't even see the light on the uh, stream light. So, it's pretty cool, man. Just thought I'd throw this out there, man. Put this back up, man. Hope y'all have a good one. Get out there and train. Be safe. That's all I got to say. Peace. Uncle Life. It's on you.